All right, Pete, it's time to make some jam. That's right. We are here at Toge Tuning with On Point Dino, getting ready to... We're finally gonna tune the Jackson Racing Supercharger. Let's see what yeah. she does. Before Sasha from On Point Dino could start tuning, we needed to swap out the factory map sensor and replace it with a two and a half bar Omni power unit. And the reason why is that the factory one runs out of resolution at around six PSI. So to have much greater accuracy, the Omni power map sensor is the way to go. We've been relying on EcuTech for our tuning software since the beginning of this build because it's such a robust and powerful system. And even with the addition of the Jackson Racing Supercharger, EcuTech software allows Sasha to reprogram the maps for forced induction with ease. Without getting too nerdy here, Sasha converted over to a hybrid speed density system that ignores the math reading past 4 PSI which ensures that both partial throttle operation, which relies more on the math, and wide open throttle, map based, are tuned to perform flawlessly. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see what the FRS spins those Dynapacks to. Sasha worked his magic on the keyboard, tuning the uh, EcuTech software, and we've ended up at 262 peak wheel horsepower. That's uh, an 85 wheel horsepower pickup over the, uh, the stock motor that we had in it last year. And uh, peak torque is now up over 200, so I think a 203, which is about a 50 wheel torque improvement over the motor before the supercharger. So very solid gains. I, uh, it'll be really interesting to get to the track and see how that translates to uh, improvements in lap time. So I guess that's probably the next step for us, Pete. Hit the track. Yeah, something like that. We gotta work on, uh, you know, a front splitter, I think. Oh yeah, front splitter too. Yeah, let's do that but first. We, we, who knows, we might just go straight to the TMP track. TMP doesn't need a splitter. Let's yeah. just go to the track. All right. Rip some laps. We'll do it. And now, we'll wrap things up with some more dyno pulls for your viewing pleasure. 